Hi everyone, Stacy here today to do a review on the new Mini Carson uh, crossbody bag. Um, here I have it in Winterberry. Ah, brand new pattern. Take a look at all that Winterberry gorgeousness. The, the detail in this pattern just pops. I wasn't a fan of this online. It looked very one dimensional to me. Um, I thought it might look a little old too. But when I saw it in person, I was like, oh, yeah, look at that Vera Bradley color right there. Look at the berries. How much dimension in the leaves. How much dimension this, this pattern has. And I'm even showing you the, the back part. I did. I was able to choose this um, in the uh, store so you could see the awesome pattern placement that I found. Um, this is for my mother. This is her new bag. And uh, she's here visiting for a few days with my dad helping us even further get the house ready to sell and it's on the market but um adding her touch because she is an interior decorator and um i did not get that gene <laughs> so yeah she's here being a huge help and um i got her the rfid riley compact wallet for christmas um and then she got the mini carson bag here um so i i First of all, I think it's interesting because you guys know I love the Carson. It's the new love of my life. Um, I don't know why they used the Carson name again, um, but this is not a Carson. I mean, it's it's not the Carson that you guys have seen me uh, purchase and, and fawn about. Um, so this is actually a little small for my taste, um, and I don't know why it's called the Carson so anybody know why it's also called a Carson you can leave that uh, in the comments down below the video I would greatly appreciate it now um, I she didn't even realize this I realized this last night um, her go-to bag here recently in the last few months has been the day off satchel um, she didn't realize and she had it on her wish list I asked her what she wanted me to get her and this was on her wish list look how similar they are I, I take or she took the strap off of her bag and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit look how similar in size they are so it's no wonder she wanted the uh, mini Carson um, because they're extremely similar to the day off now, this is her bag that she brought here um, in Kia Paisley. If you guys have seen what's in my mother's bag, she also has it in Santiago. Um, but here it is in a really cute uh, pattern placement. Look at that. She did really good with that. Um, I don't know if she bought it or if one of my sisters bought it for her. Um, I'll have to ask her. But, of course, it's in gorgeous Kia Paisley. Um, similar in size to the Mini Carson. It has the uh, leather trim. The um, front pocket here with the logo plaque. And the one thing she she does like about the day off um, over the Mini Carson is that it does have these handles and they flop down so they don't get in her way. So unlike me, she doesn't mind the double handles of having crossbody and, um, and the handles here. And I don't blame her. Um, she told me, you know, when she's in a hurry and she just wants to grab it and go, she just picks it up and goes. So she uses it more as a crossbody, but this is really easy to use. Um, then the um, day off has a zippered um, pocket here in the back. There's that gorgeous key of dots pattern. And then the interior has a long zippered pocket, two slip-in pockets. She's still, <laughs> like mother, like daughter, she's still, oh wait, no, 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 no. She just stuck the tag, okay, <laughs> she stuck the tag for the, uh, Carson Mini Hobo Crossbody, that bag, in here. So, okay, okay, she didn't do that. She's already taken it off. All right, so she and I differ in that. Um, but uh, she's got that going on, and uh, it's got a sturdy base, of course, and it's got the, the leather base. Um, now, I'm going to do a review on this bag um, in another pattern coming up. I don't want to spoil it yet if... Uh, um, I uh, haven't released it yet, so we'll see on the timing. Um, so we're going to look at this individually here later. But um, the crossbody strap, she does not use for this. She didn't care for it. I'll explain that more in my uh, day off satchel review. And this is the 
strap for the Mini Carson. It is microfiber. Um, and then you've got your silver hardware there. Yeah, it says Vera Bradley on it. And then she's just not a fan of the strap. Um, I personally am fine with the strap. Um, but um, it, it does adjust very easily. But she's found a strap that works for both bags that she purchased. It's not Vera Bradley. Um, but it works perfect for her. She bought a thin uh, leather strap um, in Las Vegas at a hardware show. My parents own a hardware store. And so um, she found it at a booth. And it's the perfect, um, uh, perfect strap for her. So Vera, if you're looking at the straps, um, maybe a leather one wouldn't be too bad. If you're going to do other replacement straps. And of course, speaking of replacement straps, you can always take this one off and the other one, the microfiber, that one I just dropped <laughs> and put your own strap on it like she did. So unlike the um, day off satchel, of course you have your front here. There's no front pocket. You've got your rear Bradley logo at the bottom. No back pocket. However, you do have your zippered pocket here that makes getting your cell phone and stuff fairly easy. And it is a really deep pocket. You can see here, my finger goes all the way here. Like, I'm hitting the edge right here. So you've got maybe, I don't know, two, three inches there that that pocket, that pocket doesn't go through. Um, so it's a very deep pocket. And as you can see on the Vera Bradley website, you put your phone in it. Um, in it there. Checking my timing because they're all at hockey practice and they're supposed to come pick me up for dinner. And I have plenty of time. So there it is. Uh, easily concealed. Um, now, one thing I've noticed, just like my Carson, these zippers, they're metal, and they can scratch you. Um, so you have to be careful with that. I've scratched myself on my own Carson. Um, but it does have the new, if I can get this zippered, uh-oh. <sighs> Mom, I'm sorry, I broke your new purse. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I didn't. Yay, Stacy! Don't break your mom's new purse. Um, it does have the newer zipper pull there that I love. Um, open it up. Of course, you see that gorgeous interior lining there with the greens. I really like that. Um, and you've got two pockets there. One of them is the charger pocket. Uh, handy pocket hold your charger pack, thread your charging cable through the grommet. Connect your phone to charge on the go. It's just that easy. So the grommet here that you can see goes through to that side pocket and you can thread your cord through there and charge your phone um, fairly easily. So you, and then you've got your other slip-in pocket and your zippered pocket. So very similar to the day, the day off. Um, I don't, let's see, I don't think this has a charger pocket. No, it does not. Don't feel a grommet. So, Mini Carson uh, Crossbody does have a um, charger pocket. I'm going to take this tag back out here because it is for this bag. Mini Carson Mini Hobo Crossbody. I apologize. Um, keep uh, saying that wrong. And the retail on this is $68. Um, let's see how much we can hold in this because it is a fairly small purse. Now, she went with, of course, the RFID Riley compact wallet, and it fits easy peasy in there. Now, what if you carry a larger wallet, like the turn lock? It fits in there just as well. Obviously, you lose a little bit of room with a larger wallet, but it does fit larger wallets. So we're going to go ahead and put that smaller wallet back in. I've already got my cell phone in the side pocket. We'll put keys with my little petite red bandana keychain in the zippered part. Um, in the slip-in, I'm going to put my lotion and my um, chapstick in there. The other slip-in pocket behind the charger, I'm going to put my pen. Ooh. Didn't show you that. We're using watercolor today. Vintage, vintage pattern. 
um, my comb, put it with my lotion, go ahead and zip that up. I've got my compact here, a granola bar, and I don't think it'll hold my pot, but it could. Let's see here. Yeah, it does. Let's see if we can zip it up with it. That might be another. Yeah, it all fit in there. Easy peasy. There's the bottom there. Of course, it doesn't have the um, the leather bottom that the day off does, but you can see there it is a sizable bottom there. I don't know if it bothers you. I personally don't like to put my Vera Bradley uh, fabric bags on the floor because it can pick up germs and stuff. It's gross. Um, but it doesn't have a any feet, so that doesn't bother me because I don't like to put it on the floor. Um, but I, I'm kind of curious about what you guys think about Vera Bradley not having feet on their fabric bags. So, so there it is. Really cute. Winterberry, I love it. I think this round of patterns uh, with the penguins and Winterberry and Snow Lotus and Lilac Medallion, and the newest current patterns, just home runs all the way. It's, it's rare that I like so many patterns in a release. My pocketbook. <laughs> but... I think they did a really, really good job with the patterns this time around. And I have a new love, the Carson. So I'm really happy with Vera Bradley right now. Um, you know, I, I've been critical in the past. Tough love. I'm taking them all out now because, A, she's going to fly with this tomorrow. And I don't need, like, my car keys flying with her. <laughs> and, B... I, I've mentioned this before. I'll do a video, put stuff in, and not take it out, and then lose it. And, like, my Kindle, I lost for almost, like, two months. My library card, I just found it. And why did I just find it? Because it fell in a toy box down below here while I was doing a purse review or a wallet review. So, yeah, I gotta take it all out and give it back. So, yeah, there we go. I do like the Mini Carson. Um, I think it's a little small for my use, but um, it could be a good size for you. My mom loves this size. Um, she does put her own strap on it. It does, it's not adjustable. It's a nice little leather um, crossbody strap. So it hits me a little higher than what I would want, um, but she's a little shorter than me, so it would hit her uh, right at the waist um, instead of a little higher. So yeah, it's $68. Of course, if, if that's a little salty for you, wait till um, the pa a pattern retires in it. Maybe the outlet sale in Fort Wayne, uh, birthday coupons. Um, of course, you got your rebate sites. Um, you never know when uh, you find a maybe a $25 off coupon that a few lucky people have been getting. I have not. Um, but I did get the birthday coupons. Of course, when you order, you get your, um, was it 30 off, $125. So, um, there's different ways to make this a little cheaper, a little more affordable. But I don't think 68 is too bad, um, for this bag. Um, yeah, not too bad. Considering my Carson and bigger bag is 98. Um, yeah. So that is my review for the mini Carson uh, crossbody bag. I give it a thumbs up, I really do. Um, you know, I, I don't see a lot of issues with this bag other than maybe the zippers might scratch your hands a little bit. Um, if if you're um, you know, a smaller bag person, this could work for you. It could be easy to, to shop with. You could always put, it, put a shoulder strap on it if you wanted to. Um, if you really wanted to, but I think this works better as a crossbody, in my opinion. So, um, I think the strap is okay. The strap itself, like I said, is microfiber. Um, and I don't know if you guys have had, um, the microfiber bags in the past where they're really stiff, but this microfiber uh, strap is very easy to adjust. Um, see, I'm adjusting it with very little effort. Um, there. So, used to, like with my old uh, microfiber saddle up, I would have to wait weeks to get it to go, <laughs> to get to my, the way I wanted it to carry. I think these are a lot better uh, made nowadays. 
All right, I'm going to wrap this up. If you have this bag, please let me know in the comments down below what you think. I would love to hear about your mini Carson. Um, uh, it, like I said, it's an easy shopping bag, and she's already been using it um, with really no complaints. Um, sorry I couldn't get her in front of the camera. She wanted to go watch my son play hockey instead, and I can't blame her because this is the first time they got to to see him play. Last year they came out to watch him and he broke his arm so he couldn't play hockey for like six weeks. <laughs> so this is the first time they've really seen him, seen him in action. Um, but yeah, they fly back and tomorrow and she's taking this bad boy and her new RFID Riley compact wallet with her and not with my stuff in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you want to check me out on Facebook, I'm The Amazing Shopper. Um, on Twitter, Amazing underscore Shopper. On Instagram, ama The Amazing Shopper. I have lots of fun pictures posting lately. Um, lots of fun stuff going on uh, with the channel, with the page. Um, yeah, really fun stuff. Uh, I also do Pop Sugar, uh, Stitch Fix, uh, stuff with my kids, um, haul videos, giveaways, all that crazy fun stuff. Um, my kids love being in my, my videos. Two of the three. The second one's way too, or the third one's way too young. <laughs> but don't forget to subscribe to the channel, The Amazing Shopper, and leave me comments below. Um, if you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. And I will talk to you later. Bye.